this should be a short one today. I got two pieces of mail. We did go to a bookstore today and I did a little dollar bin diving. So I'm going to go through those tonight and I'll have those in the next video. I did grab some pretty good stuff. Nothing, nothing major. But I want to tell you all about this uh, bookstore we went to and show you what I got. But that's for a future video. Today we just got two pieces of mail. Oh, and I opened them in a different order than I thought I did. But we can go, we'll roll with it. So a few days ago I got a uh, Batman lot that I said I paid a dollar for. It was a best offer. Like a, the listing was $1.99. I made a best offer of a dollar and got it. So I looked at that person's listings and they had another Batman type lot for the same price. So I offered a dollar again and it was accepted. So let's take a look. It's just random stuff, nothing too special. But we got Batman Arkham Asylum Tales of Madness number one. Be careful. My One of my cats is making noise over there. I apologize if it's picking up. This is Batman and Wildcat number one. And then we got Catwoman and Wildcat number one. Like I said, these are really random, but they're all pretty sharp condition. Batman Shadow of the Bat number 87. And lastly, what do we got? Oh, this one I thought looked cool. Girl Frenzy Batgirl number one. This this was it appears to be a series of one shot issues that they did back in ninety eight. And the the covers are really cool, very colorful. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones with uh, female characters from DC. So that was a cool little Batman lot. Again, a buck plus shipping. So not bad at all for just some random filler, I guess you could say. But they're not things I'm going after. Series like Shadow of the Bat is not really a series I'm going after. This one's very well packaged. We got it in a comic mailer, which I now have a pile of these. I actually threw, threw one out yesterday because it was in imperfect condition. So I'm like, eh, I got so many of these right now. I still don't have any comics that I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sell that. I'm still working through Frank's collection. I got two boxes left. And I found something today that... Might be the first, like, disappointment of that collection. It's not over till it's over till I've seen every book, but I got two boxes left that are pretty uh, plainly cataloged already because he said he did sort through some of those boxes. And I saved the ones that were already sorted for last because I knew they would be somewhat boring to go through. And... Uh, I found something in there that was like, oh, I got all excited because uh, the number three of this particular series is, is a valuable key. And all he had was number one. And I won't uh, I won't leave you hanging. It was is it NYX or NYX where X-23 is in the, her first appearance is book three. Uh and it's funny because every one of his miniseries is in his collection. He he had complete. But so far, not that one. So I only have issue one of Nyx. Which is... Sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not. It's just... Uh, it was funny. Because when I found Ultimate Fallout, you know, it was like one, two, three, you know. and But this time... I wasn't so lucky, so it was kind of funny. Well, this one, again, kind of overpacked. We get we had a, a comic with backing boards taped around it, wrapped in a, a bubble wrap in a comic mailer. Like, golly. But 
here we have Spider Woman number two. So I still have a few issues coming in. I've slowed down on grabbing these because I want to get a grip on what I have. I started a checklist, but I want to actually start reading them as well. So that is in pretty sharp condition. I'd give it a 7.236. Three. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not an amateur grader like a lot of uh, collectors are, because I, I don't care. I'm not going to slab any of my books. So that's it for today. Just a short one. A little bit of mail. Uh, I'll have some more stuff tomorrow that we bought locally. I want to thank all the new subscribers and everybody who does the likes and the comments and stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.